Hey everyone, Koshit here. Today we will be talking about security defaults in Azure Active Directory. If you own a Microsoft 365 tenancy, it becomes really critical to secure your environment and your users as well. With the security defaults, Microsoft basically enables most of the critical features which are required to secure your environment. It actually creates policies such as, you know, your users will be forced to use MFA and so as your admins and some of the policies as well. So if you don't know how to start and secure your environment, go with the security defaults and slowly and gradually increase the security with other additional features which are offered by Microsoft to secure your environment. Let's go and check out what security defaults are and what sort of options are there and how to basically disable or enable security defaults. So when you have security defaults enabled in your Azure Active Directory, what it does is it will basically require all of your users to register for Azure AD multi-factor authentication, which is MFA. Now your users will be given 14 days from the first sign in to register for MFA. After the 14 days, they will actually will need to then register for MFA. So they will be forced to do that. As part of the security defaults, it will also require all of your admin roles to register for multi-factor authentication, right? It will also prompt your users to do the multi-factor authentication whenever Azure think it is necessary. For example, your users might be logging in from a different location or from a different device. So if Azure thinks that you you know, there is a different kind of activity happening from the normal sign-ins from your users, they will be prompted for MFA. It will also block any legacy authentication protocols. So it will basically only use the modern authentication protocols. It will also protect any privileged activity which likes access to the Azure portal. For example, you might have a user or an admin who might be you know, able to perform any activities in your Azure Resource Manager. And obviously within your Azure Resource Manager, you have number of resources lined up which should, could be critical to your business. It will basically protect all those activities to the Azure portal. So it basically it will prompt the users to perform MFA. Now next slide is basically, is it for you? You know, do you need to enable security defaults? Security defaults are basically automatically enabled for any tenants which are created after 22nd of October, 2019. And all the new tenants which are being currently created by users or organizations. Enabling security defaults for organizations is basically a great features you know if you don't know where to start with the security of your office 365 or your azure environment so you can enable the security defaults and rest is all taken care of it is also a great feature for organizations who are actually using the free tier of azure active directory licensing which means if they don't have azure active directory premium p1 or p2 licenses and you're using the free tier of azure active directory then this is a great feature if you want to enable any security defaults in your azure active directory so if you don't want to enable security defaults and you have you know azure active directory premium licenses so what are your other options well you don't have to enable security defaults, but you can actually create conditional access policies within your Azure Active Directory. And you can basically create the same policies which are offered by the security defaults or even more granular policies within conditional access um, policies within your Azure Active Directory. We will be talking about uh, conditional access policies in my next video, uh, but this video is more about security defaults. So let's jump in and see how we can actually disable or enable security defaults in your Azure Active Directory and if you want to check whether it's enabled or not. I'm currently logged on to portal.azure.com and obviously the security defaults are for Azure Active Directory. So we will click on Azure Active Directory. On the Azure Active Directory page, on your left hand side, we will click on properties. Once you click on properties, on this page at the bottom you will see manage security defaults so we'll click on that and it actually opens up a pane on your right hand side now this 
section you can see whether the security defaults are basically enabled in your tenant or in your azure active directory or not so for me currently it is disabled but i can just turn it on click yes and click the button and it will be enabled if you want to know more about you know what the security defaults are and you know what it actually does you can click on learn more which basically goes to a microsoft page and it talks more about the security defaults in azure active directory for example who is it for you know um, and who should use the conditional access policies and how to enable security defaults in your um, azure active directory and uh, you know what each function does so all of those details are here so obviously when it comes to dealing with the critical information you are offering to your users or to your employees or using within your organization it's really important to think about the security and security defaults in azure active directory is basically a starting point for you to gradually increase your security posture down the track well that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit like and leave any comments if you have any feedback for me or if you want me to cover any other videos or topics in future. Thank you again and have a nice day.